Hey, what's up guys? Sloth King here. I'm going to be making a neutral safety switch or clutch bypass connector along with uh, wiring up my reverse lights and getting my ABS connector for my R154. This is gonna be a pretty straightforward uh, wiring video for you guys. I have not found a video on this at all. So if I can make this super simple for you guys to do, it will be a lot easier than trying to find a write-up for it and having miscolored um, wires. So this is going to be for an 89 turbo. I'm pretty sure you can use it on 90, 91, and 92. You can probably use this on other years as well, although your wiring colors are going to differ, but it should be the same process either way. So let's get into this. Okay, so a few things to get this done if you want it to look good. Essentially, you're going to be making a small harness that connects from your automatic engine harness to your R154. Right here in front of me, this is the ABS wire that I have off of the automatic transmission. I'm not sure if this is going to fit the R154, but this length will be close. From what I was reading, the connector from the automatic ABS sensor is pretty similar to the one on the R154. So right here, I'm going to be replacing the wire since these are old and they're cracked. I'm going to be extending this about a foot or so because I kind of miscalculated the length on my harness. So keep that in mind. I'm going to be replacing this connector and this connector. These are your ABS connectors. It's a four pin square plug. I'm going to be replacing these connectors just popping these out putting them on so if you want to do the same thing you can go on easternbeaver.com and they'll have a bunch of uh, connectors like these you want a four pin 090 connector uh, I chose a large one this will come with all the pins you need and the seals and then the male and female connector this will be used for your ABS this is going to be, this is your neutral safety switch and the connector, uh, the male side for this is a three pin 250DS. It will come with the seal and your pins. This is going to go on here. This is your round six pin gray plug. I don't know where to get one of these, but the only wire that you need from it, if you look at it, you'll see the connectors on the inside and you'll see a little bump on the bottom you're going to want that yellow wire that comes off. So if you look from the back, come up, this piece is on top. It's that center one on the bottom. If it's a different year, it'll probably be, I think it's black, someone said, or it's white, but it's gonna be that center one on the bottom where that little bump is. So to get your clutch bypassed, you're going to connect your black and your blue together. These two will be pinned together like that and that will bypass your clutch. You won't need to press your clutch in to start your car at all. So we're gonna wire that up through here. Now, to get your reverse lights working, on the passenger side of the transmission, you're going to have a connector that comes up over to the driver's side, and it's going to be a two-pin connector. You're going to have a black wire and like a whitish wire. I'll pop up a picture of what it looks like, where it's at. So you're going to need one of these. Now what I did, this is a 090 connector, a two pin 090 connector. I bought it as a set. What I had to do, you can get them without the nubs on the bottom. So the one on the transmission doesn't have these nubs on the bottom. So try to find the connector without them on the bottom. But if you can't, you can just cut them off like I did. So what you're going to do, you're going to take the top wire, the red and black one. You're going to take that one. So from plug A, this is plug A, this is plug B, and the transmission is plug C. You're going to take your yellow wire from plug A and connect it to the white wire on plug C, which if you're looking at it on the transmission, this is the black wire and this is the white wire. You're going to connect this yellow wire to the white wire on the transmission plug. And then you're going to take this red wire and you're going to connect it on the black wire on the transmission plug. And then, boom, you have working reverse lights. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two wires, I'm going to plug them into here, and this is going to plug into my transmission. I'm going to bypass this by connecting these two together. The only thing left I need to do is rewire my ABS connector 
and then extend it a little bit, and then I will be done making that transmission loom. I'm going to make this about the same size, so that way I can run them both, and then we'll be done. So let's get to it. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. As you saw, I added in this connector. I just wanna be able to unplug it from the harness if I need to take out the transmission. I don't want like a solid connector going all the way, or a solid wire going all the way down. Now let's go ahead and finish this up. And there we go. Remember the yellow one goes to the white and then the black I mean, the, the red one goes to the black. So that's all done. Only thing we need to do is go ahead and wrap this up in some tape. And the tape I'm going to be using is this Tessa tape. It is a high temp protectant tape. So to keep these as even as possible, I'm going to start from this end and work my way back here. Okay, so I just got this all wrapped up. Looks pretty good. Now what I'm probably gonna do, I have some of the this plastic uh, like conduit stuff. I'm probably just gonna put this over it just for the added protection. All right, so next thing to do, wire up the ABS plug and then we'll be done. So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to swap out this plug with one of these. And then I will go ahead and lay out my new ABS wires to the proper length I want. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to put them on a new plug. You guys already saw how I did this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Afterwards, I'll, uh, I'll show you the finished product of this and this all together. I'll be back, guys. All right, guys. There we go. I got everything all rewired. I got fresh wires for my ABS sensor, which as you can see, it's right here. Uh, there's a red wire that came off of it that went to another connector from the automatic transmission. So I just left this here just in case if I need to run a wire. There we go. I, I have different colors, so your colors are not going to match up to here. This is what it might look like. So these are the original. If you're looking at the plug, you'll have your red, blue, tan and a light tan and for the new colors i have a red i have blue i have brown and then orange yeah so if you need to rewire it just make sure that you write down you keep notes of everything and you write down your new colors now i hope that uh the abs sensor f will work on the r154 this is from my automatic transmission like i mentioned earlier so if it does work i will uh i'll let you guys know in the future if not then I will have to source one and I hope the wiring is going to be the same. If it's not, I'm probably just going to de-pin it from this side and re-pin it how I need to. This looks pretty clean. Now all I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap all of this inside of a plastic loom just for added protection. 
because you never know. All right, guys. And that concludes uh, this video for um, running some wires to make a new loom for your R154. Hopefully everything in here helped you guys out because I hate reading stuff on the forums. It's, uh, it's not fun. I need like a visual aid. So hopefully you guys found this super helpful. As far as wiring goes, the reason why I went with the plug route instead of just how I've seen people do a write up on it where they just take a take a pin from here and then they'll splice it over into here. And I don't like that. That's not professional at all. I want it to be like uh, if you got it from the factory. I will, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap that up in a loom. Like I said earlier, I'll, uh, I'll test fit it. And uh, whenever I get to start up the car, I'll let you guys know if everything works proper. So yeah, if you guys, uh, if you guys found this super helpful, go ahead, leave a comment below. Let me know if it helped you out or if you need any further assistance I will try to uh, I'll try to assist you from there. Go ahead, leave a like. It helps with the algorithm. Make sure you subscribe so you can see more content like this. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thunder.